Zoe Kravtis's debut monologue crashed by multiple Catwomen, plus more SNL highlights. Here, the sketch comedy show kicked off the night with its version of President Joe Biden's meeting with six TikTok influencers to get their help and fresh ideas to get out information about the conflict in Ukraine. Some of the people who showed up to this gathering? Well, Chloe Feynman came in as an actress from the CW, aka Annalyn McCord, who made a viral poem about Putin's mom. And Chris Redd was Jason Derulo, who only contributed to the conversation by singing his name, just to name a few. However, the star of the sketch was Bowen Yang who hilariously walked into the scene shirtless with a toilet plunger stuck to his chest. It was a must-see moment. Watch it, below, Zoe Kravis took over Studio 8H over the weekend for her Saturday Night Live hosting debut, and she had some help from some special guests. During her opening monologue, the 33-year-old actress talked about her role as the iconic character of Catwoman in The Batman. However, she did not get too far into her spiel before she was hilariously interrupted. By who? Oh, well, just several of the cast members who were channeling their inner Catwoman. First up was a latex-clad Kate McKinnon embodying Michelle Pfeiffer's iconic version of the character. The comedian could barely keep a straight face during the moment, especially when explaining her origin story. I fell out of a window onto a pile of cats. They licked me back to life in. Now I dress like Sandy from a porno version of Grease. It's still called, Grease. When Kate fired up the cat signal, that is when Ego Nawodam, who dressed up as Eartha Kitt's Catwoman from the Batman TV series, appeared. Despite Zoe trying her best to move on with the monologue, she was interrupted once again by A.D. Bryant as a cat lady, pushing a furry friend around in a grocery cart. But it wasn't over quite yet. Chris showed up to the party as Cat Williams, which frustrated Zoe even more. CHCH check out the hilarious monologue in one of the sketches this week. Zoe played the best friend of the bride who accidentally overshared some info to the groom, including that her pal dated most of the jackass cast and Suge Knight. See the cringe-worthy wedding toast a standout moment from the night had to be when the divergent star in the please don't destroy guys got together to track down a lost cat. In the sketch, the trio decided to get a special gift for Zoe's hosting debut. So as a pun, they got her a woman cat, because you know, she stars as Catwoman and joked about previously getting Ant-Man actor Paul Rudd an ant. However, the cat suddenly disappeared as they were about to hand the cat to Zoe, and thus chaos erupted. The group frantically searched for the kitty and even found Paul Danko, aka the Riddler, hiding underneath the couch at one point. Will they end up finding the cat? See for yourself by checking out the video for the night's musical guest, Rosalia took the stage to deliver a confidant and stellar performance not once but twice. Kicking things off with a performance of Chicken Teriyaki, the 28-year-old songstress did not miss a note as she showed off her amazing stage presence and dance skills. Check out the fun performance Rosalia later returned with belted out her track La Fama, featuring The Weeknd, where she stepped out in an oversized coat that had many people talking. See why what did you think about this week's episode of SNL? Perezius readers? If you missed the episode, you can CHCH check out the rest of the sketches.